Good afternoon. Um, <laughs> if first, if first you don't succeed, try it again. Um, this may be a private joke because you won't see the previous broadcast. I've already removed it. I'm just doing this a second time because the first time uh, there was a glitch in Facebook and didn't do anything. So welcome to my broadcast. The second time. <laughs> there was no first time. You didn't see it. It's gone. This is episode number 935. And the topic today is about the, um, the holidays, particularly about Christmas time because it is this time of year since there's in two days. And I want to speak to the idea about how it feels when you're not with people you think you should be with or not with people you want to be with or just being alone at Christmas time. For some people, being at home at Christmas is the most devastating time of year, and I appreciate how that feels. But I want to show you some simple ideas of where you maybe can get out of that um, trap of sadness and have a different experience for Christmas. First of all, um, sorry, I, I, did, I talked earlier, I did this talk about half an hour ago, but Facebook glitched everything, so I'm doing it again. So I'm just remembering what I said then to make sure it fits in this time or not. So let's see what happens. The, by the way, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I will put the link at the back end so you can find the replays. This is something I do every day for over three years now, and they're never scripted, which is why I can't repeat what I said earlier in this talk, because I didn't write it down. <laughs> so Christmas and the holidays, let me start from this point of view. Um, it's a very social time. It's a very um, retail time. <laughs> lots of merchandise, lots of marketing, lots of showing up to say, come on down, let's do stuff, let's have stuff happen. The thing about Christmas time for me, now, I'll tell you my story in a moment because I realize there's some piece of my own history that might play out why I, have an issue, why I don't have an issue with Christmas. But Christmas, frankly, is a wonderful time of year, oftentimes, to reset and regroup. Now, for some people, that means going out and having lots of food and feasting and pit presents and stuff with all the friends and family. But the thing is, that's a lot of times a duty-bound requirement. And sometimes Christmas, the best way to spend Christmas is to be alone. Yes, sounds crazy, I know, but bear with me. How do I want to approach this? Hmm, let me think for a second. Okay, I'll insert my story here. <laughs> um, well, let me say it this way. I've been, in, I've been in the LA for over 30 years, and Christmas time, is for a lot of people, it's a very big production. Christmas tree, lights, decorations, the yard filled up with ornaments, stuff like that. It's a big show. That is largely thanks to marketing by companies that sell all this stuff because Christmas time really, in its simplest d distilled down essence, is a time to be with the people you care about and you love, where you can share gifts and things that you value and perhaps break bread together. That's really the epitome of Christmas. I know traditionally those people who have Christian values think it's time to celebrate you know, the, the birth of Christ and everything else. That's not my upbringing because I was raised Jewish. Okay, segue to my story. <laughs> Um, I didn't grow up with a Christmas tree in my family, not because we were Jewish, but because my parents would, used to say that um, it'd be too much cleanup for the needles from the tree falling down on the ground. Now, the thing is that, as far as I recall, when we were younger, our house had hardwood floors pretty much the whole time I remember my childhood. So cleaning up after anything on hardwood floors would be fairly easy. It's not like it's going to be a carpet, shank pile, deep carpet, where you're going to have like needles and stuff stuck in there from the tree. So I think that was a fake truth then anyway I'm not going to get into that but the thing was for me growing up it was not something that was very um embellished yes we had different christmas presents we had nice food um we may get to go to the family and sort of stuff we'd have that sort of thing happen but it wasn't a big deal it was a nice time to be with people but it wasn't the most monumental moment and the thing is for a lot of people christmas is the pinnacle of all the celebrations of the year the, the challenge with that is when we do that we can set ourselves up for disappointment There's ways around that, always through that. The thing with Christmas time for a lot of people is they feel if they're not with other people, there's something wrong with them. Especially if they look at other people and compare. Now, comparison, bad move. Because anybody else does whatever they do, they're not the same as you. So what you do or don't do has nothing to do with them. And what they do or don't do has nothing to do with you. There was a lot of do's in there. I hope that made sense. But the main one I'm tempted to say here is that what you do with your time, how you spend your time at Christmas, is up to you. Nobody else and that how you spend it does not have to compare with anybody else. Part of the challenge with Christmas, and I, did was, I was hinting this earlier, is that we get into this, this quandary, I'll say, I won't say a trap, but a quandary of wanting to do certain things with certain people because the rules is the way it's supposed to be done. But a lot of that is tied to a codependency trap where we end up being around other people because that's the right thing to do, but it doesn't make us feel full. 
you know, you go to you go to Christmas with family, and you get gifts you don't want to keep, you want to trade them in. You get food maybe you don't want to eat, and you got conversations you don't want to have. That's Christmas, maybe not. So what I'm attempting to say here is that all the glorification and the jubilation of Christmas ultimately comes down to, will you enjoy yourself? And if you're alone for Christmas and single for Christmas, being with yourself for Christmas, you can still enjoy yourself and have a very celebratory time. It doesn't require being around all these different people. And so for me, what I was attempting to, to, to share here is that Christmas is a time where you can actually have a lot of peace, a lot of quiet, the gifts that you want to buy for yourself, nobody else, the food you want to eat and enjoy yourself, and some time where you don't have to worry about conversations you don't want to have. That's a win-win-win right there. So being alone at Christmas can be a good thing. A couple of things I want to say on that too. It can also be a good time to restock, to um, it's going to restock, restore, to come back to yourself. If you've had a really hectic year, Christmas time can be a good time. Actually, Christmas to New Year, in fact, the whole week, can be a good time to spend time being with yourself to reset, to regroup, and to plan for the new year. Why not start on Christmas Day? Why not make the best gift you give to yourself at Christmas being with you for a week? There's an idea. So a lot of things to throw in, in your lap, I know. And, and I am tempted to catch the points I said earlier in the previous talk that you don't see because I deleted it. Because thanks, thanks to the internet and Facebook, it wasn't getting saved. So hopefully this is going through more clearly. I'm not seeing any indications that it went bad, so I think we're okay. So let me, let me continue. I've talked many times about codependency in my previous talks, and I'll give you the links at the back end of the broadcast where you can watch those talks if you're so interested. But the thing about it is that we fall into this trap so often about thinking we should do things a certain way the way society demands or requires it of us. The need to be in certain places and do certain things is almost duty-bound. I found this year, particularly for myself, saying no to things that I didn't want to do was one of the healthiest things I've ever done. Now, if you've got situations, circumstances where you think you're duty-bound, Christmas time is one of those big ones. Saying no can be one of the most freeing things you can do for yourself. Christmas, for some people, it says the most jubilant, celebratory, wonderful time. For other people, Christmas is the most annoying time. You've got to be around people you don't want to be around. Sorry, it's true. For some people, you don't want to be around your family members. You can't stand them or people you don't want to be with. Up to you. You know, you can choose not to do that. So sometimes being alone at Christmas is the happiest time <laughs> to be alone. As strange as that sounds. But also, I feel for me in the work I've been doing, when we're alone, sometimes the most important times to focus on taking care of yourself. When you start to learn the keys and tools and techniques to really take care of yourself on a fundamental level, a powerful level, that's the most elevated, jubilant and celebratory moment you'd have. Because you start to realize how you don't need anybody else to be happy. And that's actually a truth, by the way. You don't need anybody else to be happy. Being happy is a default state you can be in because it's who you are. There's a quote, actually there's a book called this, which is, be happy for no reason. You don't need a reason to be happy. And you don't need other people to be happy. You don't need other requirements, search, situations, and circumstances to be happy. You can be happy right now, in this moment, as you are. Even watching this, you can be happy. I'm not saying you don't have to be, <laughs> but an opportunity. And one of the things I've become aware of a lot in, in the recent times, because as I've been writing, I've been creating a new program, by the way, which I'll tell you about in a moment. As I've been creating the course, was really discovering how many things we don't do for ourselves and how we can be much more self supportive. And frankly, going forward into 2020, is an adamant time to get clear about how we take care of ourselves because the way the life has been treating us, the world in, in general, media, society, uh, news, and everything else, we've been so bombarded by things that may or may not fit us. It can be challenging. And so navigating back to ourselves, to come back to our center, to be in a place which is balanced, which is at peace with ourselves, where we can find ourselves having freedom to do whatever we want and find ourselves flowing through life effortlessly is the most powerful way to live life. And by the way, balance, freedom, and flow are the um, title of my new new masterclass coming from January called BFF. Best friends forever? That's in the course too. But balance, freedom, and flow are the core elements I'm teaching to really help you find your way to fulfillment, to find your, find your way to really owning your space, and to become really clear about how amazing you really are. Christmas can be an interesting time, and what if you gave yourself the best gift of all, which is you? Is an interesting spin. What if you gave yourself permission to be the best possible you this Christmas? Yes, you can go out and celebrate with friends or go to catch movies or go out for dinner. Chinese food is usually the one thing that's open on Christmas Day. That's one reason I know about. But you can definitely have some, some time with yourself this time, this time of year. 
my new offering, which starts in January, it's got a it's got a holiday special. You can sign up now and you get a massive saving, which you can check out when I put the link. I'll put the link in the comments. You can check it out. But it's also a time to regroup, to reset, and to really get know what you're about. I'm actually working through the holidays on some on building out this course because I'm excited about it, um, and I really want to help the you. You let me say. I'm trying to say two words are coming through at once. It will get clear. You may be in a place where you feel like you want to do things differently and you feel like you're stuck. I want to help you get unstuck. Maybe you feel like you're not getting what you want. I want to help you get what you want. This course, this masterclass is functionally so aligned to helping you get where you want to go that I'm very biased about it. So just to be clear. So um, as I mentioned, as I mentioned, did I mention it? Sorry. As I said, I did this broadcast earlier, but it went through badly, so I deleted it. I'm trying to remember if I said it earlier or not of this one. I didn't say it. No, I didn't say it this time. I said it earlier. Excuse me, let's start that piece again. I'll put some links in the comments so you can actually check out some things I'm offering, one of which is my new course, BFF, which is coming out in January. Um, it's a three-month three month group masterclass. It will transform your life. It will transform my life. I know, and I'm creating it. Um, link is in the comments. I invite you to check it out because if you sign up before Christmas Day, which is in two days, you'll be massively massively rewarded and you'll save a lot too. Um, I'll also put in the comments my self-love meditation because being alone can sometimes be the most disheartening place to be if you don't know how to come back to yourself first. And my self-love meditation, which I am passionate about, which has two audio tracks and a, and a guidebook which will get you through the process, helps you reconnect yourself so you really support yourself and stand in your own truth. So self-love meditation will be in the comments as well as my, my um, BFF course. Excuse me, masterclass. I hate saying course. It's not a course. It's much bigger than that. Um, and with that, I think that covers the topic so far. So this is my daily Facebook Live, in case you haven't seen them done before. I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, seven days a week, although yesterday was later than usual and tomorrow will be earlier than usual. Because um, yesterday I had a Hanukkah party I was at, so I went after I got back, and I'm going to be somewhere else for Christmas Eve tomorrow, so I'll be doing my talk earlier. But usually 5 p.m. Pacific times when I go live, you can watch me on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. Um, if you want to watch the replays, they're on my business page on Facebook. At least a couple of hundred of them are, not that many. It's not that good at keeping track of them for some reason. Thank you, Facebook. Um, on my business page, which is Barry Selby to author, you can like my page and you can watch them there. Or better yet, if you want to watch all my talks, because I keep all of them together on YouTube, go to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, excuse me, youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. You can subscribe, subscribe to my channel, and on there is a playlist called Messages from the Masculine. You can scan through those, search through those, find the ones you look for. You can spend Christmas Day binge-watching if you wanted to. I'm not recommending you have to do that, but it's an opportunity if you want to. So, um, <laughs> having said all that, I hope this has made some sense to you. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, you want to get support, reach out to me over social media. I do invite you to check out the links that I put in the comments because they will help you navigate the way through, and it will help you start 2020 on a whole new level. And frankly, why not? And uh, that's about it. So I know we'll find the replays. And I invite you to join me tomorrow, a little bit earlier, probably around 3-ish tomorrow, because I've got to be somewhere else at 5, which will be episode 936, another topic. Probably more about how to deal with family dynamics when you do go home for Christmas. We'll see. I'm not planning the fact far ahead. So with that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. Excuse me, earlier time, same channel. <laughs> and, and I appreciate being with me. And as always, my invitation to you is please... Take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow.